Hey everybody, this is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. How are you guys today? I am really excited to bring you this super adorable ladybug box. It's super tiny, super cute. And inside you have a Lindor chocolate by Lint. Um, the little flaps fold into the box like so. And then you have this adorable little ladybug on the top. And it's a good day. There's oh, It's always a good day when there's chocolate, right? So I'm going to show you how to make this box today. We're using the Hello Ladybug Punch Bundle, which is super awesome. So let's go ahead and get started. You're going to start with a piece of basic black cardstock that is five and a half by three and three quarter inches. So we are going to use the scoreboard today. I love the Simply Score tool. I'm going to place it on here and on the long side I'm going to score it at four and a quarter at two and a half at three and three quarters and at five on the short side I'm going to score at one and a quarter and two and a half so basically you have this nice little grid and then you have this little flap here, which is going to form the little part that goes in the box. I'll show you in a minute. So let's go ahead and burnish on all of those score marks. I'm going to put my scoreboard down here next to my desk. And I'm going to grab my bone folder. And we're going to go ahead and burnish on all of these lines. All right, we are working it. We have our little grid in action. There it is, and it's been burnished. Now it's time to cut away, okay? So what we are going to do is I like to use, I do um, use my Stampin' Up paper snips for almost all cutting, except when I cut for boxes. I like a little bit of a thicker blade, so you can get a long, big scissor. I happen to have a short one that has a thick blade, so that's what I'm gonna use. I'm gonna start here at the front. This is gonna be my flap that's gonna tuck in the box, so I'm gonna angle cut this piece. And then these pieces, we don't need those because the flap is not super long, so we are just going to cut those two longer pieces away and there is the tab that's going to tuck in the box. Now, if that tab tucks in the box, here are the two sides. You see that I have angle cut those, okay? So those are going to get angle cut and they're also going to get shortened. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to cut here and that's going to form my first tabs. We're going to cut them in half. And you just eyeball it. It doesn't matter if it's not perfect. You can use your paper trimmer if you prefer. As you can see, I'm right-handed, so I keep um, cutting on the right side. It's just easier for me. If you're left-handed, you can cut on the left. And now we're going to go ahead and angle cut these pieces. These are also going to get tucked in to the box. So having them angled really helps for them to fit so that there's not a lot of bulk in those corners. All right, so this is our lid of our box. It's gonna tuck like this. Now, we have cut that, but we haven't cut the rest. So we're gonna go ahead and cut in. On both of these score marks that are left on the sides. And here's our box. So there is that. There is that. And there is our little black box. These two pieces are gonna tuck in like that. All right, look good so far? Everybody happy with that? I am very happy with it. I think it turned out super awesome. It's a nice, thick, sturdy box because all of those sides are building it up. So let's go ahead and glue it together. But first, I'm going to figure out what are the sides going to be. And they're going to be, these two pieces are going to meet. They're a little bit long. Let me see if it works this way. 
They're slightly long. I'm going to trim them slightly. Let's see if that is going to help. And this is what I do when I make a box. I never just go ahead and glue it together. I double check it. I make sure that it's going to fit nicely. There we go. That looks pretty good to me. Everything looks good. It fits nice. All right. So let's go ahead and glue our box together. Now this panel here needs to have a little half inch piece cut out of it. So I'm gonna use my half inch circle punch. Stampin' Up! doesn't sell these anymore, but you can use any half inch circle punch. I'm just gonna cut a very small notch. So that's enough for me to be able to pull, have a, a place to grab this lip to pull it out, okay? So let's go ahead and glue this together. I'm gonna to use liquid adhesive. It really is the best for this. And so I'm gonna put adhesive on this back flap first. And then I'm gonna bring the front one to it like that. And I'm just gonna hold it for a second till the glue grabs onto that cardstock and really holds onto it. Okay, I'm gonna do the same thing on this piece, okay? So I'm going to put adhesive on this back flap, and then I'm going to glue the front flap to it. And then we're going to put this one in, and this one's going to come over the top, just like that. And I'm just going to hold on to it for a second until it grabs and bonds. And then I will put adhesive here. Bring this flap up do the same thing on this side and don't worry so much if you're um I think I finally ran out of adhesive in here I've been waiting for a while and it kept like never running out let me grab a new one trash can for that all right here's my new one So even if it doesn't touch, if it doesn't go to the top, it doesn't matter. We're going to put little polka dotted um, sides on it so it doesn't have to be perfect. It's going to camouflage all of that. All right, now on to the sides. So the sides are going to be stamped. And I'm going to grab my little scrap piece of paper here. You can see I've already stamped ahead of time three of the four sides. Because once you see me stamp one, you don't need to see me stamp all four of them. So I just wanted to save you the pain. <laughs> so let me grab my um, black ink here. And my last one and a quarter by um, one and a quarter inch. And I'm only going to use four of the dots, these four here. These are the dots that are actually the dots that you lay onto the wings of the ladybug. And I have used them to make the entire box basically ladybug dotted. So I'm just going to ink up those four dots and I'm working my way around this little piece of cardstock. And I'm just making sure that my dots are kind of tight. I'm going to do one half of a dot right there. And I'm going to do another half of a dot right here. There we go. All right, so we're good to go. While I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my ladybug. So here she is. We're going to go ahead and do her body. Now, when you're using scraps like I am, and you're trying to punch out of this punch, it doesn't always work so good. Um, you do bring it in from the side. I do happen to have enough on this piece of cardstock to hold it, so we don't need it. But if the piece is too narrow or too small and you have nothing to hold on to, I take my extra strips that I have from cutting cardstock like this, and I attach them onto the piece of paper. So I put a little bit of adhesive and I stick it on there and it becomes like a little handle. And then I can push it in 
and hold it from this handle. So it works out rather nice. Let's go ahead and do the wings. And then of course we have to stamp, it's a good day, right? So let's get that ready as well. I have to find, <clears throat> I have so many sentiments over here. Here we go. Here's, it's a good day. I'm gonna bring it down where I can kind of see. So it's gonna be near the bottom of your screen, but I need to be able to see what I'm stamping. There it is, it's a good day. And we have to do the wings, of course. We're using Poppy Parade and black. Let's see, I don't know if this piece is large enough. Let's find the wings so that I can double check it. They should be in here somewhere. Oh, here they are. Okay. Yeah, those fit. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to ink up the dots first. It works out really well because when you stamp the dots, I'll show you. And then you ink the wings. There's dots here in this, in the wings and you line those dots with the black dots that you've already stamped, and it helps you to line them up. See? Perfect. All right, I will punch those out in a second. Let me go ahead and get these ink pads out of my way. I will clean these stamps quickly. This cleaner that I'm using is our um, chamois which works out perfect. All right, so let's get the stamps into my basket. I have a little basket that I toss everything in right next to me. And then we will go ahead and cut the wings. Now, I'm gonna show you a prime example. I should have really stamped the wings on this side. Then I could have slid it in, you see, but I can't slide it in because it's too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and show you how I attach that little piece on because it is a really great tip for when you're using scraps, like if you just have that small scrap right there. Let me grab one of the pieces. I'm gonna grab a little bit of adhesive here. And I'm just gonna put a dot right there. And then I'm gonna stick my little scrap paper onto it. You see how it acts like a handle? And now I can hold it and slide it into my punch. I'm gonna line it up so it has a nice little border of white all the way around, and then give it a punch. And then see, I can trim this and recycle my little piece to hold it next time I do that. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna go ahead and attach our sides onto our box. So let me grab my silicone mat because I tend to make a mess when I use wet glue. And I really like that because if I do, then I don't have to sweat it. Now, on this side here, I'm going to put the glue on the box. And I'm gonna lay my ladybug pattern on top of it. Now, the reason I'm doing that is because remember, I punched that piece, I'm gonna have to punch again. And I didn't want the, the red or the poppy parade color to have the glue on it, because I'm gonna have to slide this in here and match up my punch with that same little divot and cut that away. See how I did that? All right, so there's that one. <clears throat> have a little bit of an edge. That's why I love these paper snips because they cut even the thinnest cardstock. So there's that one. Let's go ahead and attach our other squares now. The one with the divot is taken care of. And here's my third one. So this one's gonna go on the back. So cute. I love these little ladybug spots on this box. Add my next one. 
And because I did the box as a black core, you can see the little black edges that show through when you glue these little squares on, which I think adds just whimsy to the box itself. All right, so there's my fourth panel. Super cute box, super cute. I love me this little ladybug box. All right, now it's a good day is going to be popped up if I can find my mini dimensionals. Love them. It goes on the front. And I'm gonna use my take your pick tool. That's my favorite $10 item in the catalog. I use it all the time. And I'm gonna go ahead and attach my It's a Good Day down here at the bottom. This little piece that I stamped the words on is um, one and an eighth inches long by a quarter of an inch. It was just the perfect size for those tiny words. I think anyway, whoops, I think I put this on the wrong side. It needs to go on this side of the box. Luckily, I didn't push it down too hard and it didn't grab. All right, now I'm gonna push it down now that I know I have it on the right side here. All right, our little ladybug needs a little bit of love. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fluff up her wings by running my bone folder on the other side. It kind of breaks down the fibers Kind of how you would curl a ribbon, you know, when you grab it with a scissor and you curl a ribbon like that. Same kind of concept. Now I'm going to attach the wings, just the, this part here. I'm going to put a little piece of adhesive on this section. And I'm going to attach this here. And then I'm going to put some dimensionals once I have that adhered. Give that a second to hold. I'm gonna put the regular size dimensionals, two of those, one under each wing. So let's pull the backs off of them and we're gonna tuck them under there. And it will help continue to lift that wing up. Oops, I didn't pull the back off. All right, so there are those wings, give them a little curl, there we go. I want that bump to be there. Okay, we'll throw these backs into the trash. Hopefully they will end up there. That's why I use the take your pick tool because I know they end up in the trash. All right, the next step that we are gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and add our matte black dots, which these are what they look like. And the large ones fit perfectly on the spots and the small ones fit perfectly on the spot. So it was almost like these matte dots were made for this little ladybug. Because they fit right on those dots. It gives a little bit of dimension to our ladybug. Makes her look a little more real, right? So we're just gonna attach these dots over the dots that are existing that we stamped. Oh, she's so cute. Love her. All right, let's put these away. And then we will tie our ribbon. And I have a lint chocolate in there. I forgot to grab one. If you bear with me, I will reach into my candy drawer, which is behind me. Don't tell anybody. It's my little stash, my little candy stash. See if I can find one of those. Lindor Violet Red Chocolates. I'm grabbing lots of colors, but red is not happening. Here we go, that one. There we go. So let me close my candy stash before somebody finds it. <laughs> We're gonna go ahead and put our little chocolate inside, like so. And then we're gonna turn these two edges in and press this edge into the corner like so. So now we have the black box top. Now I'm going to attach my um, bug on to the box with dimensionals, but these dimensionals I'm gonna use are going to be black. 
Um, I don't know if you guys know, but Stampin' Dimensionals do come in black. I love that they do because they make things so nice. I'm gonna use two of these guys to put on her body. And that way it won't show against the black box. Isn't that neat that they come in black? Love it. So don't forget that they're called Black Stampin' Dimensionals. And you get minis and the regular size. You get both. There's the minis. There's the little mini ones. So you get both in there. So you have, I don't use them as often. I just use them when I do things with black. So I'm going to go ahead and add her onto the front here. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. All right, and then we're going to tie the ribbon. That is our last step. So I will bring the ribbon around the box. Make sure I have it in the right spot here. And this is an eight inch length of ribbon. Um, for the actual ladybug, I just used scraps, so I didn't have a dimension to give you there, but just scraps of cardstock, basic white. We always have that because when we use them to cut layers onto our cards and projects, we always end up with some scraps, right? So there's our ribbon. This is such a pretty ribbon. It has that cute little sparkle to it. Let me grab my ribbon cutting scissors. I have a pair of paper snips that I designate for ribbon. They have a little dangle on there. That way I know. We'll trim it a little bit more. It was just a little too long. That looks good. So there is the front of our box. And there is the top. Our little ladybug just hanging out. Isn't she so cute? And then you can like even hinge the box so that she's angled like this. I just think it's the cutest little project. So I hope that you have enjoyed watching me create this super cute teeny tiny ladybug box. I have certainly enjoyed making it for you. I appreciate you watching all the way to the end for those of you that have made it. I'm kind of new to YouTube. I would appreciate it if you would help me out. Please like and comment share and definitely subscribe so that you can see when I post new videos. Of course, that's how you will learn how to make new things. I appreciate you watching. Um, if you can subscribe and ask your friends to subscribe too, I would appreciate it. Also check inkyhandswormhearts.com. Um, the description below, I will place it in there so that you can check. I do blog every day and that way you will get information. Um, so that you have lots of ideas for your stamping projects. I hope that you've enjoyed this. And again, thank you so much for watching. This is Kelly with Inky Hands Warm Hearts. Happy stamping.